Hello beautiful people, how's it going? Today I want to share 21 outfits for 21 date ideas for summer 2021. I might have too much going on in this video, but it's fine. The point is, I am sharing a bunch of summer outfit ideas and each one has a corresponding date or activity that you could do with a partner, friends, family, really whoever. Let's get into it. All right, first up we have our brunch date look. The vibe is like effortlessly chic, you know, we're showing up giving easy breezy beautiful cover girl. So we have these simple black pants and white puff sleeve blouse, which are both like slightly elevated, but then we are keeping it casual with black sandals and a claw clip, which I chose in green to add a little color. To top it all off, we have a white shoulder bag and silver hoop earrings for a little early 2000s inspiration. And now we are ready to entrance our date with our chill yet sophisticated vibe. Next up is a look for going out for ice cream. This is like a very normal summer activity, but for some reason it gives me like perky rom-com 500 days of summer vibes, so we are rolling with that whimsical energy. For this look, I chose the very trendy and fun color combo of an orange tank top with pink pants and matched it with these very fun DIY pink, orange, and green pom-pom earrings. Okay, and listen, I wore these earrings out the other day and two different stylish strangers both separately complimented me on them, so these will make your day fall in love with you. Next up is our outfit for a little bike riding date. For biking, you want to be comfortable, you want to be practical, so we have our white sneakers and a ponytail to keep our hair from flying around. I feel like bike shorts would have been an obvious option here, but I think denim shorts are just as easy and practical, but a little cuter. Then we have this super fun summery tube top layered under a white button down, so the white shirt can flow out behind you in the breeze and you can feel like you're in an indie coming of age movie, but also if you get hot and sweaty from biking, you can take it off. Now we have a picnic outfit, and for this one, I wanted to do something a little less typical, but if you're looking for that classic cottagecore picnic type look, just wait for the next outfit. For this one though, I wanted to go with something low-key and practical for sitting on the ground, so I chose these jean shorts and sneakers that can easily be slipped off. Then I chose this ruffled white short sleeve button up and this peachy hair bandana just because I thought it was sort of a fun, unexpected way to still give those romantic, rural, cottagey vibes while still being practical. I also added my orange slice earrings on top for an extra little fun element that would also be a great date conversation piece. This all-in cottagecore Animal Crossing Studio Ghibli outfit is for a farmer's market date. I feel like a farmer's market is the perfect setting to really lean into this idyllic rural type of look because that's like what it's all about. So I went with this gingham midi dress I sewed myself, which is very cottagecore of me, by the way, and this amazing woven sun hat that I just thrifted and I am currently obsessed with. I just love the shape of it. I love the size. I love this little tie that I could also use to wear the hat over my shoulders when I don't need it on. I feel like a literal Animal Crossing character in this outfit. This next look is keeping it casual and practical, but also so cute. This might be my favorite look in this video, and this one is for a little walk in the park date. For shoes, I did my white sneakers, practical for walking, and then I threw my hair up into this pink cloth clip that matches this midi skirt perfectly. On top, we have just a simple crop tank top, and then the best piece of this outfit that really pulls it all together are these super groovy, retro-inspired clay flower earrings. I just made a bunch of new clay earrings recently, and these ones are my absolute favorite. I've been wearing them constantly. Next up is an outfit for a beach date, and this look says we're chill, we're casual, but also we're cute. We've got a bod to show off. We've got these swimsuit on, under the clothes obviously so we don't have to change there sandals sunglasses and a big tote bag to meet all your beach day needs and then for the actual clothes i just did some casual jean shorts and this leafy green button up which has the strongest beach vibes and also makes a good cover up this next date idea could also take place at the beach or elsewhere and that is watching the sunset slash stargazing I think this is such a cute date activity that I'm trying to do this summer, but yeah, for this look, I wanted to go a little cozier with the pants and big cardigan because this obviously will not take place in the sunshine, so it'll be a bit cooler. I still wanted it to feel summery though, so I think the crop top, sandals, and white baggy pants accomplished that. I also added some simple jewelry for this one just to tie it all together, lean into the romance of it all. This next date idea totally gives me like teen sleepover vibes. It is a drive-in movie date. So for this one, I went with this flannel because that is like the most cozy teen clothing item I can think of and then chose these wide leg fleecy pants because they are just the comfiest but also trendy. And then yeah, we're on a date. It's a fun activity. It's a cute night out, okay? So we're wearing a crop top, which is pink to match the colors in the flannel. I'm imagining wearing this like sitting on the roof of a car, watching some classic throwback movie, just living out my 2012 Tumblr dreams. 
All right, this date setting is a little more dressed up, a little sexier. This is a bar slash night out look. Maybe this is your first date with someone from Tinder. Maybe you and your long-term partner are going out for once instead of sitting at home watching TV. But either way, I think this funky pattern skirt is such a fun, cute choice with this backless crocheted top and chunky heeled boots. I like that this outfit is a little more revealing and sexy, but not just like a Fashion Nova uniform. It still has character, it still has different textures and patterns. It keeps it interesting. Next up, we have an even more elevated date, definitely the most formal in this video, and that is a fancy dinner date. This is probably more for a special occasion with a long-term partner, like an anniversary or a birthday or something. I have this teal velvet halter dress that I actually just thrifted for a wedding, and I paired it with some simple classic jewelry to keep it elegant, and then these heeled boots again, which honestly, I don't love with this, but I thought they were the only heels that would work when I put this together, but just like, picture any neutral formal shoes with this next outfit is for an amusement park date. Realistically, amusement parks aren't the best setting for like romantic flirty vibes, but unfortunately I was conditioned by too many 2000s music videos, so that is the vibe I wanted for this outfit, which is why I chose this super colorful bell sleeve tie front top. However, at the amusement park, we're riding rides, we're being turned upside down, we're sweating in line for overpriced water. We want to be comfortable and secure also, which is why I chose these jean shorts and white sneakers, so now we're practical and cute. The next date idea is a street fair or festival, which feels like sort of a hippy dippy activity, can't explain why, but for this look we're giving like slightly bohemian but also casual and updated. I started with this black and white midi skirt which is so flowy and beautiful it makes me feel like a woodland spirit, but then to dress it down a little I added this pink crop baby tee, black sunglasses, a white bag, and a claw clip. Then I added some jewelry and these platform sandals with this woven texture to bring back the earthy vibes. Okay, so this look is for a concert date, and the tricky thing about concerts is that you really have to dress to the specific type of music the concert is for, but I thought this was a pretty solid general outfit that would work for a range of music. We have this little slip dress, great for dancing, wearing safety shorts under so we can feel secure. And then underneath we have this black t-shirt just to add some depth and a bit more warmth since concerts are usually in the evening. Then I chose Doc Martens for shoes because they are very comfortable and tough for like standing a lot and getting your feet stepped on. Okay, I don't know if I would actually go on this date at this point in my life, but it's sort of funny and nostalgic to like middle school, so I thought it would be fun to throw it in. Can you guess it? This outfit is for a mini golf date. And because this is such a like kitschy activity, we are totally leaning into that with this very preppy Sharpe Evans inspired outfit. The all white accents, pink polo, and headband are giving country club, but the jean shorts also keep it casual enough that I would wear this in everyday life. By the way, if anyone watching this has gone on a mini golf date in adulthood, let me know how it went, please. Was it fun or was it a letdown? Next up we have a look for a downtown shopping date. I feel like if you're doing this date, you're probably both into like fashion and trendy aesthetics and stuff, so this is my trendiest outfit of the bunch. We've got a zebra stripe tank top paired with high-waisted straight leg jeans for a bold yet practical look. Then I chose these black sandals, white bag, and green claw clip for again some 90s slash early 2000s trendy elements. And then finally I added in some fun rings as a cute and trendy detail. Not those giant chunky colorful ones though, those are so ugly. So this is our serious, sophisticated, academic look for a museum date. We have this simple black dress paired with black sandals, hair up and claw clip again, and some simple, elegant jewelry. I gotta say, I do feel like this is maybe too serious and I kind of look like a professor in this, but I think you could definitely dress it down by switching out the shoes for sneakers. Oh, and then we have this white bag again in which we are bringing a little crop cardigan because it is always so cold in museums for no reason. Okay, this is our cute and quirky artsy couple date, making art together. This could be in one of those studio places like paint and pottery, or it could just be at home in your basement. Either way, I thought overalls were perfect because they are meant for covering you up like a smock. And then since it's summer, I went with a bralette underneath just for something a little cuter and more interesting than a regular old t-shirt. I put my hair up in a bun with a funky scrunchie so it's out of the way, and then added these gold star earrings that I made myself because that's artsy and also they feel very whimsical. All right, we're getting towards the end now, only a few left. This look is obviously for a hiking date. At first glance, it's pretty standard, just a t-shirt, shorts, and chacos, but I specifically chose my Glacier Park t-shirt I got camping out there as a conversation starter. I also have my cicada earrings on because they are nature-y, and I also got those while traveling in India, so now I have two wardrobe items that would bring up topics that would be interesting to the kind of person who would go on a hiking date. 
Finally, I added this green hair bandana for both practicality and the aesthetic. Second to last look, let's go. This outfit is for a thrifting date. I wanted a big colorful graphic tee for this, but I realized I really don't have any, so I added that to my wardrobe wish list. But then I went with this t-shirt, still colorful, it's just a bit smaller than I prefer. By the way, this is actually my own shirt design. If you want to shop my designs on clothes and bags and stuff, it's linked in the description. Uh, anyway, then I just paired it with these skirtles for chill, casual, comfy vibes. To add some fun details, I chose a bucket hat and orange slice earrings and my tote bag to store all of the goodies I'm gonna thrift. Alright, finally we are on to the last outfit, which is for a photo shoot date. Now this is a very particular type of date, so we need a particular type of outfit. First of all, I chose the skirt and top combo because they fit me well and ill-fittingness really comes off a lot more on camera in my opinion. I also chose these because I sewed both of them myself from scratch, so now we have a conversation topic to show that we also have a visual creative hobby, just like our photographer date. Then I added a fun hairstyle just to make the look and the photos a little more dynamic, simple jewelry so it won't get in the way, and sneakers for some casual practicality. Wow, we made it through all 21 outfits. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and you enjoyed this video, liking it and commenting helps me out a bunch. And subscribe if you would like to see more of me. Uh, if there's any other videos that you would like to see from me, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always interested to hear what people want to see. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!